This building is built by the soldiers uh, of the Singha Regiment in Ambepus for the use of the soldiers as well as for the local community, especially school children who live in the area. Uh, and because it is built by the soldiers, we had to design it in such a way that it can be built by unskilled workers because soldiers are not trained craftsmen. So the technological system uh, had to have a latitude for errors as opposed to being um, sensitive and, and precise in their application. So they inherently had to be robust. Building design relies a lot on the repetition of building systems for ease of construction as well as for ease of training. And the idea was to create a prototype building system which can be replicated across the other parts of the country to build similar libraries elsewhere. I guess it's a bit like the railway station nearby, which is a prototype building. And the railway station has given us a lot of clues on how to organize the building system wise. But the thing is that the systems needed to be flexible and adaptable to tolerate different material possibilities as well as labor skills. This library building is a collective effort involving Colonel of the Regiment, Centre Commandant and all ranks. An important feature is soldiers themselves building. अपने पुस्तकालय तीन में हैं, लेकिन अपने लास्ट में पुस्तकालय तीन ना एक अपने अध्यापन एक गुड़ाक प्रोजेना This building won the Holcim Silver Award for Sustainable Construction from Lafarge Holcim Foundation because I think that they considered the building has responded to their five target issues of sustainability. The building tries to respond to the place in a sympathetic manner. It acknowledges people, both who use the building as well as who build the building. It responds to the planet in a, in a positive manner through a series of environmentally friendly design solutions. It uses resources strategically and uh, it is economically viable as well as it's transferable.